how the local businesses end up at international airports. I'm standing outside a Twin Cities institution, the Blue Door Pub, and yet they can't afford, they don't have the know-how to open in an airport. Running a restaurant inside an airport is incredibly cumbersome. It requires additional costs. Rent is two to three times higher. It also may, it means that all the food, all the supplies need to go through airport security checks. And so businesses, like a small local pub over in St. Paul, can't afford to come here. But after the 9-11 terrorist attacks, increased wait times at the airports added demand for better restaurant opportunities. Enter companies like Areas USA, the company that Minneapolis St. Paul Airport awarded a 10-year contract back in 2017 to fulfill all of its concessions. They went to local restaurants, asked them if they could borrow their brand, and what operates here is a licensing agreement, kind of like a franchising deal. Areas USA runs a restaurant, they pay a royalty, somewhere between 2 and 5% to the local restaurant, but it is fully operated and owned by Areas USA. The Blue Door, just one of the examples we of local restaurants you'll see at airports across the USA.